Alrighty guys, we're back with another how-to video right here. So basically, it's the same guy as the last time. He basically just wants... Well, he's working on a sick map. I mean, look how cool this is. I mean, look at that AMC theater. He's going to get sued, but it is what it is. Uh, but anyway, he wants it so that when he clicks a gun model... Um, sorry, he wants it so that when he clicks a gun model, uh, it'll basically give him the tool in his backpack. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to take this gun right here. Okay, this AR-15 pistol. All right, spawns it in from the toolbox. It could be whatever gun that you want. I'm simply just going to call it gun for the purposes of the video. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it inside of what's called our server storage. Now, you're probably wondering what exactly is our server storage. Well, we keep tools stored in this location if we ever wanted to, quote unquote, clone them. Now, next thing that we have to do is that we're going to put this into workspace. All right. And now, basically, if a gun is inside the workspace, we don't need any of its scripts. All right. And by the way, I've never seen this. I've never seen this gun before. So if things catch me off guard. Please forgive me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to group all these. I'm going to group all the parts together and I'm going to take it out of tool because we don't want people to hold it. We just want a visual representation of it. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just, you know, I'll rotate it. And, you know, I, and by the way, I'm using F3X, and I'm not sure, maybe, maybe I can make it bigger? No, I cannot make it bigger. Now it became a big grenade launcher. We're going to stay away from that. Uh, maybe Roblox scaling would work? Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, yeah, Roblox scaling. All right, and now basically what we'll do is that we'll kind of line it up just so that it's, you know, so that's just a, you know, we'll do it like kind of like that. All right, and now basically what we'll do is I actually won't do it yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to insert what's called a click detector inside of this. So I'm going to insert a click detector. I'm also going to insert a global script. Okay. Now, the very first thing that we have to do is that we have to declare what exactly we're doing. So for one, I'll say local click detector, which by the way, if you don't remember, uh, hierarchy, I'll show it to you in just a second. So if we start off with our script, the parent of script is the left icon and up. So the left icon and up is going to be model. So the parent is model. And then we want to, now we have access to all this model stuff right here. So inside a model, I'm trying to find something that's called click detector. So it's going to be like, all right, is this click detector? Yes, it is. So that's what we're referring to. Now, this is what's called click, uh, oh, mouse click connect function player. All right, so basically what we do here is that when we say click detector dot mouse click, all right, whenever we whenever we click this button, right, or whenever we you see like this imaginary brick, we're able to click anywhere on that brick right there. So watch if I go ahead and play this game. All right, it's going to show up with a with a, you know, oh, you could click this gun and you see that. See how I can click it. And there we go. And the funny thing about click detectors is that if we do print player, It'll actually tell us who clicked this. Uh, it'll actually tell us who clicked this gun right here. All right. And if I go to my output, you'll be able to see when I click it, it prints out my name, Mario Svug. All right. So it'll be exactly. So that's how we know um, who clicks this, like who clicks the uh, gun. Now, let me go back into play mode and I'm just going to show you something real quick. All right, so in order to add something to someone's inventory, every player has what's called a backpack. All right, so let's say I wanted to insert a tool inside a backpack. Look at that, I just got a tool. I can't use it at all. As a matter of fact, I think it just deleted itself. No, it didn't. All right, but whenever I deselect the tool, it goes into our backpack. If I enable it, it comes out of our backpack. If I disable it, it's in our backpack, okay? Now, let me go ahead and delete that now. What we do is that we need to somehow take this gun in server storage and put it inside of this model, or I'm sorry, inside of our player's backpack, okay? Now you're probably wondering, well, how the heck do we do this? Well, we already have player, so we don't need to determine that. What we do need to determine is our backpack. And to do that, we just simply say local backpack is equal to player dot backpack. That's it. And now that we have backpack established, now we need to find our gun, which is in local gun is equal to game dot server storage dot gun. So we say we take our game, we go into server storage, and then we find our gun. And now we found it. Now, so now we need to do something that's called cloning. There's two ways that you can do this. You could just say clone, or 
I like to do it this way. It's the longer way, but I think it's more reliable. Local gun clone is equal to gun clone. Simple as that. Now, for every clone, we need to say, hey, um, we basically need to say, hey, uh, where do you want it? So I'm just going to say gun clone dot parent is equal to backpack. Because we just said that our backpack was our player's backpack. Now, pretty sure that's it. Let me go ahead and let's take a look. I'm going to hit play. Did I even start recording? Yeah, I did. Huh? I was going to say, I was, I, my heart almost skipped a beat. Now, when I click it, I get a gun and look at that. All right. And now the next part of this is to uh, make it so that we can't have repeats. Because a con of this script that we just made... All right, is that I could get like 300 guns. I could get an auto clicker and just get like 4,000 guns and break the game. I could be like, and look at all these guns I get with unlimited ammo. No one can stop me. I'm a genius. And I'm going to hit reload. I mean, this gun, oh, oh no, it's unlimited ammo. So really no point to it. But if someone wants to be a jerk and just start dropping tools like crazy, here's a way to prevent it. Now, the first thing that we need to do is that we need to look through the player's backpack. Okay, and to do this, we use a method called for IV in pairs, which basically creates a table on how many, on what is in your backpack. So let's say I had gun one and gun two inside my backpack. If I said for IV in pairs, which by the way, I need to put it underneath these local scripts here. For IV in pairs, and I have to say backpack get children. And now I say do. And basically, let's say I have gun one and gun two. If v dot name equals equals gun, then all right, and then let's say we had, let's say we had something with a name of gun inside of our inventory, then we do this. We can also do or gun two. So let's say you don't want someone having uh, multiple guns, uh, or you know, like let's say you just wanted someone to have a primary weapon and there's three guns in your game. All right, then you would say you know. Um, Gun clone dot parent equals backpack. All right, that's basically all it does. I like to put it on the outside, and this is the original script. So I would say local can give gun is equal to true, and then I say okay, and then I come down here. I say if can give gun equals true, then or sorry, I'm just gonna get rid of that. We don't need it, and then we say can give gun equals false. And last but not least, can give gun equals true at the end of the statement. And then that's it, because we need to figure out a statement to set if the can give gun equals true. All right, so just going over just once again, we have our backpack, our player's backpack. We have our gun that's in server storage. We clone the gun here. We look through our backpack and see if any of the names, which in this case, since we only have one gun, we could just do if v dot name, all right, which basically the value, if the value's name is equal to gun in our backpack, then can give gun equals false. Okay, meaning for the rest of the script, this can give gun equals false unless we set it to true. What this basically means right here, equals equals true, that's basically what it means. But because we set it to false, it's actually going to skip over the statement and just go right to this one. All right, so it's extremely important to have... Um, the fur IV in pairs if you don't want duplicates in your inventory. Now, for the moment of truth, let's go ahead and let's try it out. I probably made an error, but whatever. It is what it is. We're going to try it. All right, here's my gun. I'm going to click it. I get the gun. Well, let's see if I click it again. As you can see, I'm clicking it. Like here, I'll, I'll bring it up to my... I'm clicking it, but nothing is going. In fact, if you want proof to see if this works, I'm going to say print... There is already a gun in your inventory. All right. And now just to prove it to you once again, because everything needs to be done, done with facts and logic, in my opinion, we're going to try it again. We're going to click it. And as you can see down here, I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm clicking. And I clicked it 22 times. There is already a gun in your inventory. Now, let me see. Now let's go ahead and let's delete this gun from our inventory. So I'll delete it, so I'll get rid of it. Now if I walk over to this gun and I click it, well, that didn't work. Time out. I might have done something wrong. Relax. Let's relax. Let's relax. Um, 
Hmm. I don't. I, I don't, here. Let me let me set this so can be dropped equals true, and maybe it's because I just can't delete it. But we'll see. Maybe it, like thinks that I like equipped it or something. But here. So I'm gonna click it. I'm gonna get my gun. I'm gonna drop it, and I'm gonna try it again. There we go. All right. So yeah, I probably just couldn't delete it. But basically, if I drop the gun, I have to come back and pick up a new one. And there you go. That is how you do a tool giver without duplicates. All right, so you can't have more than one of this tool in your inventory. If you wanted to have duplicates, you would simply just remove, you would remove this, and you would remove this, and that, and that, and you're done. And so if you wanted duplicates, this is totally okay. Print, and just to show it to you one more time, come on over here. Do, 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 do. And I have many, many guns. And if you don't want duplicates, you just hit control. I'm just going to hit control Z a bunch of time. And that's a, and that's the code for it. All right. And thank you guys for watching, which by the way, just quick shout out to all you guys watching my new Roblox studio uh, tutorials here. I really appreciate it, guys. I mean, like I said, I never really expected my first video to blow up. But, you know, since you guys uh, really love our videos, I mean, I really appreciate it. Okay. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for tuning in. And let me know if you have any questions or any errors. Just go ahead and, and just put in the comment section. Also, I need ideas. Tell me what to code and I'll do it. All right. Bye, guys.